Are you afraid of doing the unfair difficulty on Pathfinder Kingmaker? Well, you shouldn't be. And that's why I'm here. Welcome, my name is Roganbald, and today we are continuing our guide to survive through unfair difficulty without dying even once. And without further ado, if you like this video, of course, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, comment on it, turn on notifications, I mean, whatever you want, but it's important for the channel growth, so if you like it, just follow it. And also, if you want to see me streaming this live, you can do it at my Twitch channel, which the link is below. So let's start this, guys. <laughs> Well, there we are, we just left Ristov, we are of course level 2 right now, and why is that? It's just because we turned off sharing experience. So as you guys can see, without messing with the difficulty, we turned off sharing experience with non-active companions, and that allowed us to level to level 2. Is this a good thing? I think it is, I don't care about sharing experience. I want to get to level 20, so this is a big and important part of it, and that's how we do it. But we are here, we are level 2, let's level our characters. If you want to know more about this guy and what skills he is using, what is his build, you can watch my video on that. It's uh, a part of this guide, it's actually the first video of this guide, so if you want to do it, just go ahead. And I'm going to leave a link here. We discuss on that video what classes are viable and how to build them. So it's a really good video. So if you want to watch it, just go ahead. But we are leveling them. We are doing Valerie as a sword defender, a shield defender, tower shield specialist, something like that. And why is that? Well, mainly because she can't hit anything and she is one of the best tanks to have an unfair it's the only thing she can do uh that's right so we are gonna use it we're gonna take advantage of it you know that's that's what we do we are not using this though we are using of course either combat mobility or armor focus and for this one, we're just gonna use the armor focus on heavy armor. Plus one armor right now, not a bad thing. That gives us 25, so why not use it? I mean, obvious choice. For Lindsay, since we are using Lindsay as a, a front roller, we can use her as a fighter and make her like an Adori defender. Or we can go and use her as a mad dog, making her somewhat of a useful tank because she's gonna get a companion and this companion will be a Smilodon. I will talk about this uh, in another video why I picked the Smilodon, but mainly it's because it, hit it, it hits more, it has more dice chance to hit more and we like this. We like having the possibility of hitting more, you know? That being said, Barbarian can't fit Lizzy because she has a lot of constitution, so it's not a bad thing to have on her. And Mad Dog is overall a good class for early game. And the reason we're doing this is also because we don't intend to use Lindsay through the whole playthrough, especially because without spoiling anything, but you can't count on her uh, after a part of this game so we just wanna make her useful for us while we still can use her so that's it you can go ahead and save here if you want you can build this differently if you want doesn't matter it's all up to you now we're gonna just stop here because the encounter is gonna be right through the corner we are gonna rest we are gonna manage, we are gonna give this girl manage armor, we are gonna put this guy here for better chance on hearty meal, and we are gonna begin. Let's see. 
The maintain armor is always a success, so party meal was also a success, that's great. Uh, it gives us some bonus to DC and maintain armor gives us a circumstance AC bonus in the first battle. So, good thing, good thing to have, you know? And now we are at this point, and this point is a very sensitive point because first of things first, turn off Amiri AI. Secondly, you gotta reposition Lindsay and Valerie, and even the Smilodon. He has AI turned on, so turn this off. You want them. Each one of them facing uh, some of those guys. So you want this here. You want Lindsay to come. Let's just take those two away. Something's wrong here. What's going on? But my characters are frozen. Serves you right. Let us strike so we want one. to turn this with Valerie. We want to come here, come here, and Lindsay, and come here. You this Mylodon just fell off. So, yeah, Any there's that. Wishes? But now we have, like, settled a charge position, and we have two of them getting hitted. So let's hope this works. Let's also turn this on Lindsay. We might actually suffer if we charge here. Because see, this guy is gonna come here, so this might not be a good strategy for now. We might have to wait a little bit, just because we don't want to get hit by that fella there. And now Amiri just this did the job we in. wanted from her. So let's turn this stuff. Serves you right. And let's charge here. And Amiri can charge here. Valerie is doing fine. <laughs> and they even hit it. Oh wow. Uh, just so you guys see. There's no addition here, this is unfair, through the roof, and that's just what a good build can do, you know? Do not fall down. And can of course there are some it? micro here, but if you're not microing it, why are you playing unfair? Like I always say, it's not a, a crazy good... Difficulty to play unless you're trying to challenge yourself and by doing that you can You also have to assume That you are Adventures call to them. of course using All the builds yes. to their full potential You know, there's nothing else I can say about it So everyone's full health great I did this with a breeze time. Of course, this fight tends to be a lot harder, but it's it's up to you. If you are building and micromanaging and paying attention, there is no reason for you to die unless RNG screws you, and that's of course a possibility. But possibility or not, it's just better for you to try than to give up, especially at this point. And this point is a point War where is a lot of people give up, just, just so you realize why I'm doing this build and not like a late party build where everyone else is OP and we can <laughs> go through unfair like it's easy. Because I, I see a lot of videos here that people go and do like a 
20 level characters soloing everything and yeah that's viable yeah that's possible but how did the guy got to 20 level mainly uh the theory craft there is great on paper but it's a lot of saves coming you know it's a lot of luck involved and we are trying to relinquish that by i wrote it like i saw it actually doing something that's meant to be viable through the whole game of course you don't have to play play like that you can play whatever you like you can say scum all you like if that's your thing but if you want to try this i'm pretty sure you'll get satisfied with the results so we got to another fight now time to gear up our girls girls so we are of course taking as many potions as we can here and even this one on her akali uh, amiri is also taking this at least two of those uh, this guy is putting this or using this whatever i prefer to use this uh, it doesn't stack so as you can see no point this though is pretty strong gives us 27 and 27 something that we shouldn't uh, think less of it's a it's a great it's a great point to be here so Lindsay, Lindsay just need to move a little bit forward now and let's turn her courage let's save you guys can just save here because if you want to save scum and reload or if anything goes south at least you have the save and you don't have to waste more time unless you're doing a slanty mode then if you are welcome to a guide that can provide you with regular and possibilities to of course achieve what you want so okay uh we don't need to ask all those questions but we are just gonna be neutral good here to victory and let's position ourselves to be able to actually charge them Onwards. we don't need to aim i mean aiming like this is better than doing one per one even though this guy is gonna tank this one it's just because we want them to have the flank you know and since we are planning on charging this guy here it's actually better so turn on the rage if Amiri I can stress how important that is Much longer. So Val got hit it. Drink the potion with her. Charge here with Amiri. They are hitting what we want them to hit, so that's good. One more potion with her. One potion with this girl. Is where I step in. They didn't switch aggro, so we are doing good. And as I said, pets early game. Just a good thing to make it viable. So this guy now. Can just come here. And hopefully finish the job on this. And Amiri, you come here. So, yeah, that's 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 it, guys. That's that's this fight. See, not hard to the bones. That's somewhat a good task. Anything is possible. And we just got it. So now 
we just heal ourselves. We have to use this scrolls, and this is a good thing because we can actually use this on our Smilodon. Or maybe we can't. Can we give this to him? No, he's dead. But he's gonna be alive uh, as soon as we get back to here. Let's talk to Oleg and let's do the last part of this this guide. You know? Let's fight those bandits there. And this point is the only point that I can guarantee you guys. Don't get the alchemy fire. You know? But if you get at least this one here rolling, which is the traps, you're probably gonna do it. You know? So... I even can acknowledge that your saves come a little bit and try to get it because frankly without it it's just gonna be a hell so this seems to be the tar you can spill the tar to help slow the bandits yeah should we whatever the tar can be helpful Now this is the traps, so you can use it. Of course, you can do this by rolling and getting experience by achieving it, but anyways. And the last thing we want to do is get Boken to our side. So tell me about yourself, we could use. There's no option, so you gotta go back to Oleg and tell, ask him about Boken and he's gonna tell you, so talk later. And now just come here and we're gonna roll a nine. So yeah, good stuff. If you don't get it, no problem. You can still do it. So see his goods so you can get rid of the medium encumbers, sell everything that is not masterwork. You can also sell this. I mean, we won't be able to use mage armor so just don't sell it for now uh, deal that left you with light encumbrance so it's nothing bad you can also with 1000 gold you can buy like masterwork shit so that will allow you to uh, be better at your job you know especially if you want to I don't know, kill them faster, but we won't be doing this, not for now at least. Uh, we are just gonna be waiting for the attack. Before you click there, turn this on. So wait for the attack, it's gonna go on into the attack, the rest of the skills will not last, but this will. So now what you do is come here into the side here, wait for Boken to do her job, just stay here and as soon as those guys start walking through all legs then you just go and charge it. You're gonna leave Valerie here. You're gonna charge with Lindsay. You're gonna charge with pretty much everyone else. Don't forget to turn on Rage. Okay. Let's, let's try this. Triggering traps. Awesome for us. So there's this guy dead. Now go for this one. And Valerie can just help finishing this dude here I mean all that is required here is some management and of course this can also happen this is dangerous but it is what it is hopefully it won't kill your guy with a crit hit like that and 
there you have it guys we did it so yeah that's the tutorial as clean as it's possible to be so if you like don't don't forget to subscribe and of course leave a comment if you want to see the continuation of this playthrough in the second part we can try to do a deathless uh, in other areas out. here at unfair difficulty uh, yeah I, I, I'm pretty happy with what we achieved here and if you want we can do it with other classes too including the caster ones with no base attack bonus of one so yeah guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the content and I see you when I see you. Cheers guys!